Okay, so welcome back to the uh, PHP login tutorial. Um, and in the last uh, two videos, we went over, we created our form, and we started our scripting. Now, we've checked for the existence of the username and password that the user has entered. And right now, if you don't put in one of these or both of these, it'll say this. We'll get an error. So if we just click login, so you did not provide proper info and click login we're missing one of them and we get uh, an error so if we just go back uh, and now if we log in with proper uh, username and password that's uh, if both are entered then and we click login we get nothing which means that there have no there aren't any errors or anything so, uh, also in the last video, we started making our query, uh, which I forgot to add in a few things. Uh, so you want to hit your caps lock key, and you want to type in where, and then hit your caps lock key again, so it takes your caps off. Whoops. Where username equals, and then in single quotes, in single quotes, you want to put username. You want to put dollar sign username for our variable username, and then outside your single quotes, you want to put and in uh, cap caps, and then you want to put password equal to the same thing. So you want to put password. There we go. So uh, it'll look in our database, our uh, database, our table users, and it'll look for a row one of these, this is a row, it'll look for a row that has the username of, uh, the username we provided, which in this case is basic nick, and then the password of password. And then, uh, this can easily be fixed once we have our MD5 encryption in, uh, we just have to add in a, si a single line of code, um, which I'll get into during the registration, uh, videos. Um, so now we're going to create another variable, and we're going to be using the num rows function. So we're going to appropriate call appropriately call our variable num rows. So you want to hit uh, MySQL underscore num. That's N U M rows, as in the word rows. And in here, you want to take your query get, and you want to put query get in there. So dollar sign query get. So, or whatever this, is, whatever your query is called, and then uh, what the num rows function is going to do is it's going to take our query and it's going to see if uh, any values are found. Now, if a value is not found, it's going to come up with a zero. But if something is found that fits the cri the proper criteria, it'll uh, have a one. Um, so we're going to make sure that something is found using a simple if statement, and we're going to say if num rows does not equal zero so if if it's not equal to zero that means it is equal to something which means something has been found then we're going to add an else and in here we're just going to put an echo uh, your username was not found so if the username and password don't match and there's nothing found in the database with that user will get a message saying so. Uh, so in here we need to, uh, so obviously the username and password, the corresponding username and password have been found and the username and password match in the database. So now we need to actually uh, log the user in and then tell them they have been logged in. So we're going to use this session. So you want to hit dollar sign underscore session uh, and session is in all caps. And then in your brackets and in your single quotes you want to type in username so our session we're going to create a session with the value of of our username and we're going to say equals dollar sign username so we've created a session which is essentially the user being logged in and then we're going to say we're going to echo out you have been logged in. So the user has been logged in and to prove that they've been logged in I'm going to create a link to another page and this page is we're going to make it 
and a, a user or a, a registered user uh, only area, sort of a members area, and we're just going to call it members.php and uh, go to the members page. And this is going to take us to the members page. And now uh, we're going to create this page. Uh, we'll just simply create a new file, uh, put in our PHP tags, and we're going to save it out. And we're just going to call it members.php because that's what we made our link go to. So now we're going to, uh, in every uh, file or every page you're going to be using, uh, is something involving the user must be logged in. You want you must have this at the top of your uh, page in your PHP, uh, uh, whatever they're called. <laughs> I'm blanking on that. Sorry. Uh, so you want to have dollar sign underscore session, and it's pretty much the same thing as our user login, except it's just reversed. So we're gonna. Uh, make sure our session is made. Now we're going to check for the existence of our username. So if there is a username found, that means uh, someone is logged in. But if there's not a username found, that means someone is not logged in. So we're going to say if dollar sign username, and it's as simple as that. So it's going to say if the username if a username is found, meaning someone is logged in, we're going to say echo, and we're going to echo. Welcome, and then we'll just say dollar sign username. So we're just just say welcome, uh, whatever you, your name is, and then which means that the user is logged in. But we're also going to put an echo for uh, uh, like if you're not logged in, say someone tries to uh, type in the URL themselves and go to the page, putting in a simple check even in an if statement, uh, it, it makes it so the the person can't do that. So we'll just say you are not logged in. Simple as that. We'll just say you are not logged in. And save it out and we'll go back here and we refresh our login. Say you have been logged in, go to the map first page. We we'll click it. You were not logged in. Huh. That for some reason didn't work. Session username. Alright, let's try logging in again. So if we log in, you've been logged in, go to the members page. Huh. Okay, something's wrong with our login script. Um, Alright, I'm going to pause this while I figure it out.